Well, we had our first snowfall of the season. It was a little bit more covered this morning. You can see the dogs have been out enjoying the snow. But it looks very magical out there, even though we've not had a full cover. Everything looks so nice when it's all white. I have a sneaky feeling that we might get a little bit more this week. It's really starting to feel like winter now. Wouldn't it be amazing if we got a white Christmas? Did you enjoy the snow this morning? Yes. You enjoy the snow this morning? Yes. Yes. It's a bit cold though, isn't it? We might have some tinkles in the house. You refuse to go out. <laughs> Good boy. Yes, you are. Good morning, Lumi. Well, this morning I wanted to quickly take a moment to talk you through the new centre display unit that Summit Carpentry did for me last week, I think it was. You would have seen a little glimpse of it in last week's video where I did the bespoke suit. And I'm very happy with how this has turned out. The finish of the cabinetry is in American walnut and he's oiled it up for me which has given it a slightly darker tone you'll see that we've put a small cornice around the top with an antique brass hanging rail I can't remember exactly what they are but I think it's a 25 by 45 mil lipped uh, surround and we've got a shoe rack at the bottom and then a small shelf and I've actually stuck an antique LV briefcase on there I actually picked that up in Germany for an absolute steal um, it was really quite inexpensive and so I just think it adds a nice little touch it contrasts really nicely and overall as a space it just works really well for me so I'm very happy with that install and it's now got to the wardrobe to a place where we literally are just now looking to furnish it. So at the moment we've got the two trunks that are going to be staying. I've also picked up this bookshelf slash fragrance shelf that actually spins. So because it rotates, it means that I can display the books here and then we can spin it around and you'll be able to access the fragrances. I think I mentioned this a while ago whilst we we're out on a dog walk. It's gonna give me the ability to be able to have something that looks like it's a display unit, but it actually is a functional storage space for all of my fragrances. Lydia also found this really nice art that you can see just out the back. It's got a really nice sort of autumnal winter feel to it. So it might be something that's a bit seasonal. We actually have decided that we much prefer art that doesn't have glass on the front of it. So this is just a plain canvas. That works really nicely. The frame ties in really nicely with the rest of the sort of tones that are going into the room. I ended up putting the radiator over on this wall because we were gonna have it here, but we felt like it would just encroach a bit too much when the seating goes in. So the last things to do really are to put a rug down possibly, a center island, couple of armchairs and a table, console table, coffee table, something along those lines. I'm also waiting for my valet stand, which is on order but won't come until next year. And also my freestanding mirror that will hopefully be arriving before Christmas. I'm actually having that custom made um, by a company Cool, I can't remember where they're based. And so they're gonna be making it to spec because the mirror that I originally found actually went out of stock and they didn't know whether they were gonna restock it or not. So that is a quick little wardrobe update as to where we're at at the moment. And then we are gonna be getting to a point where this room is complete. So it's been a nice little journey. It's been quite slow in terms of having it completely finished. I know we're a little way off, but furnishing unfortunately can take a little bit longer than the actual physical sort of trades work because of lead times and stuff, but everything's tied in really nicely. So I think it's a nice improvement for what I like, my personal style, personal taste in comparison to what I had previously. So it all feels a little bit more cohesive now with the rest of the house. So today's video is in partnership with Xiaomi, who are a global giant in the world of tech. The company's actually connected by the Internet of Things, IOM, which is a fascinating AI technology that intelligently interconnects its products for maximum user experience at its core. I actually wasn't familiar with IOM before I was introduced to Xiaomi, and so I found it very fascinating when I sat down to do a little bit of research myself. So if you're seeking smarter living and you're interested in smart technology then definitely go and do some reading on AI IOM because I personally found it very interesting it was something that I wasn't aware of and it's absolutely huge this company has got over 500 million devices connected on the Internet of Things and it's just such 
an incredible and innovative way to work products. Now, as we are fast approaching Christmas, and let me tell you, we are approaching it far too quickly for my liking, but we're getting through it, and I thought I would quickly sit down and talk you through some of their products from their very extensive range. I wanted to talk to you about how these can be live solution products, but also how they offer a very smooth and user-friendly experience as well. They also work with Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and also they'll work on other devices and mobiles if you download the Xiaomi Home app. And the first product that I actually want to talk to you about is the Mi Robot Vacuum Mop 2 Pro. Now this is a really useful device, as stated in the name, it's a two-in-one vacuum and mop. And we're very lucky that we have people come and help clean the house once a week. But in between those cleans, I still find myself grabbing the hoover and spending time going around cleaning the house. So to have some smart technology that can help aid that takes a little bit of workload off of me, it means I have a little bit more time to do the things that I want to do. So it's a device that can be very helpful for saving time. Now this product actually saves multiple floor maps, which means that you can have it on different levels in the house. It also does customizable routes, which means that if you want particular areas of the house doing Doing or certain areas not doing, then you can do this from the home app, which gives you full control over this device. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, this is a very tech forward device and with its self-charging capability, it means that you don't really have to do too much. One thing that I found very impressive about this particular robot is that it does 170 minutes of clean time, which means that if you've got larger spaces that you want to be doing, then it's much more likely to get around and complete those tasks without having to go back to charge in between its task in hand. Now moving on to our next home technology is the Air Purifier 4 Pro. I personally think that air purifiers are underrated. It's very difficult to see the change, but I'd say that if you gave it a go, you would definitely feel the impact of an air purifier if you have or are affected by allergens, pollutants, and so forth. Now for me personally, and I must put an emphasis, this is my experience, that in the summer I was particularly struggling with hay fever. And when I came into the house where we have a couple of air purifiers, I personally found it reduced my hay fever dramatically. And having one in the bedroom was probably one of the biggest game changers to my hay fever. I get watery eyes, I get a little bit sneezy, and sometimes it plays havoc with my sinuses. And so having one in the bedroom obviously helps me sleep and help me sleep, helps me function better. So the knock-on effects of having pure clean air was actually quite drastic for me personally. And so an air purifier is one of those products that I really rate and I'd say that it's had a huge positive impact on my life during certain times of the year in particular. So we also have a lot of traffic through the house, so there's dust being kicked up everywhere. And so having a product like an air purifier takes care of this for you. It's something that's often overlooked, but I would say is something that I personally put a lot of value on now. Now the Xiaomi air purifier offers you voice control, app control, as well as a OLED touchscreen on the device itself, which means that you've got multiple touch points of accessibility and control control over the device itself, which is very convenient. It also means that you can stay on top of your humidity, the temperature, and also check the air quality of the space that you're in. Now for the final two products, we're gonna be moving more onto the lifestyle element. We're going to be taking a look at the Smart Band and the Redmi Buds. So first up is the Smart Band 7 Pro. With a high res screen, this is the perfect companion for sleep monitoring and sports tracking. As you can see, it's got a nice sleep design, extremely comfortable, but this device also has over 150 in-app watch faces. It's water resistant and from what I understand 5 ATM water resistance is good enough for open water swimming, swimming pools etc. And so you won't have to worry about taking this device off whilst you're showering or even whilst you are going for a dip. I think my favourite thing about this device is its battery life. 12 days. I was not expecting that and for somebody that spends a lot of their time charging devices this is something that I'm going to find very convenient and it also means that whilst I'm traveling, I don't necessarily even have to worry about taking the charger with me because I'm never really away. I can't remember the last time I was away for over 12 days. Now I believe it's no secret that I'm slightly obsessed with tracking my sleep and so this watch is actually going to take that to the next level and I'm really looking forward to taking the data and learning more about my sleeping patterns and behaviours. And finally we are on to the last product, the Redmi Buds 4 Pro. These are Xiaomi's wireless headphones and have high level noise cancellation so you can reduce any unwanted noise. Now with like us you have tradesmen in the house often or similar distractions then these are going to come in really handy. 
There are different noise cancellation modes, but one is called adaptive mode, which can pick up the type of noise that is in your particular surroundings and help block that out. Now, equally, they have dual transparency mode, which means that you can stay connected to your surroundings, which I've found is extremely useful when you're out and about. Now we're starting to see a reoccurring pattern here. They've got great battery life with nine hours of continuous usage of a single charge. Now, if you're intrigued by this kind of technology and are looking for a smarter lifestyle, then this is one company that you have to look into. Their extensive range expands from kitchen utilities to security and everything in between. And all of these are intelligently interconnected using their own app. Now, of course, I'll leave all of the relevant links in the description box down below. And I hope that this is something that can help improve the quality of your life or of course somebody else's i think that these would make some fantastic christmas gifts as we're coming into that time of the year so do check those out but for now we are going to continue with the rest of the day we have upgraded our coffee game this is not a sponsored integration on my youtube but i wanted to talk to you about this machine because over on instagram i'm working with delonghi and ahead of that partnership i needed to test out and trial the delonghi la specialista and i have to say i am incredibly impressed so far you already know that we have the DeLonghi Maestosa, which is a fantastic machine. I actually got rid of my 30th birthday present, which was a Dura machine, and replaced it with this one after I worked with DeLonghi on the campaign on this probably around about three years ago, maybe two years ago. Actually, no, it was three years ago because it was pre-COVID, I'm pretty sure. And so I am a big fan of the DeLonghi machines. That is an extremely user-friendly machine in there. And I was a little bit apprehensive at first because having a more sort of commercial styled machine in the house, I was like, this is gonna be really long, it's gonna be very slow. And so, yes, you might get some better coffee, but during the day, I don't really have time to be faffing around with all of this stuff. It is incredibly straightforward and it was actually to my surprise that I can actually function this machine almost as quickly as I can the machine in here. And so it has some really cool functions on it which make it super quick. So it's got an instant release as, I'm not familiar with the terminology yet so please bear with me. It's got an instant release as you apply this tool here. So the coffee dispenses and grinds down and then you have a tamper which is built in. So this is used to flatten the coffee and then when you switch it across, you just press start and away you go. And then of course to froth the milk, again, you just adjust the side frother and then you can froth your milk up. And that's it, your coffee's made cleaning, super quick you just run it again very easy rinse this out and away you go and so i'm incredibly impressed with this the beauty of these machines are the control you get over the quality of the coffee and so if you're really into your coffees you'll know that dispense quantity the grind settings even the heat of the water these are all playing and and actually the quality of the water as well these all play a vital role in the coffee itself i am by no means a coffee connoisseur, but I am a lover of coffee. And so I think that I'm gonna have lots of fun with this machine. I'd say that this is probably gonna be the machine that might ignite a passion for coffee. And I might become one of those annoying people that knows too much about coffee. Really looking forward to having to play around with kind of like becoming a little self-made barista, see if I can create some patterns with the milk. I know that's a bit of an art form. I even believe that you can go and do courses and learn how to actually do those pours. If nothing else, they're plastered all over social media. So I actually get fed a lot of them on TikTok, funnily enough. And so that's something that I'm gonna enjoy with this machine as well. But so far, the response has been fantastic. All of the girls in the house are like, "Wee, we finally got one of the machines. And so everybody's very happy. We've currently got some union coffee coffee beans at the top. One of the things that this machine doesn't have is a dual coffee bean, um, what would you call it, container at the top. So we've got caffeinated beans. In this machine here, you've got a dual top on it, which means I can put decaf one side and regular coffee in the other, which is obviously super convenient. And of course you can take the beans out and put decaf in here, but that obviously creates more work. And so the convenience of having it preloaded is something that's really important for me and my lifestyle. So this machine will probably actually stay at least for the time being. And we'll see how we get on with using this and whether we decide that this has kind of become a bit redundant and we need to change the way in which we do our decaf coffees because the quality of the coffee out of here so far is 
a little bit better than the coffee that's coming out of this machine. And so we've leveled up our coffee. The machine looks really bloody cool, which is obviously a bonus. And I think that there's just more scope with this particular machine. So we'll see how we go. But the only thing that I would say is a slight setback is the fact that it doesn't have the decaffeinated beans preloaded, ready for me to go if I ever want a coffee in the evening. That is the uh, new DeLonghi coffee machine that you'll probably see in the background of our videos a little bit more. We might end up moving it into the cupboard if this machine does get moved somewhere else, but I'm really happy with it. It's something that I was really considering upgrading to anyway. So when the campaign came in for me to do a reels, I was like, hell yeah, we're gonna be doing that because this is something I'm really interested in. You are in the market for one of these coffee machines. I would suggest taking a look at the uh, DeLonghi one because it's, as you can see, pretty cool looking and I can confirm that it's dispensing very nice coffee. Well, I think it's fair to say they've been well and truly caught in the act. <laughs> has to be uh, my favorite pastime, watching these two absolutely rinse out the vegetable stock. That's one out. Oh! There's two out. <laughs> Look at him in the snow. Ah, he thinks we're gone. Relentless, absolutely relentless. A couple of months ago, Chase Studios sent out this lovely jumper and I completely forgot that I had it. And so I've chucked it on for today. It's very comfortable, a lovely piece to wear around the house. It's even got a little touch of green on it, which is one of my favorite colors at the moment. But anyway, today I am going to be giving you a quick update as to what's been going on outside with the balustrades because they have started work on those. They look absolutely incredible. We'll talk a little bit more about that when I'm out there. But before I do so, we have had our customized or personalized Christmas cards arrive. And so I have a few that I need to write. So I thought I'm gonna do that first so we can get those sent out and the presents with them and that's all then done. So we'll focus on that, have a quick bite to eat, and then we'll go outside and take a look at the balustrades. As you all know, Lydia is the chief designer here at the Mill and Gordon household. And as you would have seen from my wardrobe at the start of this video, she's got a very good eye. And so we entrusted her in this year's Christmas cards. And as you can see, we've incorporated something we love and the things that we love on the cards. So we've got Porter, Barclay, and Lumi, a little bit camouflaged there on our Defender. And then in front of our gates, you'll see that we have Porter, Lumi, Barclay, again, taken center stage. So it's just a little nod to us, um, which makes the cards a little bit more special. They have only just arrived, so we are cutting it quite fine, Christmas being next week. So yes, I'm gonna get busy writing these and hopefully they won't be seen on my channel by the people that are gonna be receiving them because otherwise they're gonna know what they're getting. So hopefully not too many of them are gonna watch this video. Um, but yes, and then we're gonna wax seal those up at the back and they'll be good to go. But I think they look really nice. So happy with how they've turned out. Great job there by Miss Millen Gordon. <laughs>
like entrance, Her Majesty? In your own time, no rush. Well, Gemma from Hello Petal has been busy putting a lovely new garland on the table and quite a random one today. We've actually run out of bread and so I've decided to go for a pasta with saucisson, gherkins and cheese and even stranger still I've decided to team it with a coffee. I'm not quite sure whether that's how pasta is done but I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we have the posts currently situated in position. They've not been completely fixed. It's very clever, actually. They've staked down and put poles into the actual wall, and then these have been drilled out, and they've actually slotted down on top. So they're fixed in very well, and the way in which we've designed this, because these are solid oak, and oak naturally moves, we've actually routed out pretty decent sized grooves. So I come around I'll show you. You'll see that we've routed out a good sort of like inch and a half here on both sides so the glass will sit in here but it'll have movement allowance and these will end up being backfilled at the top just to a hold the glass in but also just to finish off this top so it looks aesthetically pleasing. They made these uh, supports for them. These black sections will be covered by the coping stone so you won't actually see that element of the install and of course we'll be reusing the glass which you can see here. So this was the existing rail. This will also be changed to oak but whilst the weather is in the minuses they're unable to put concrete down so for the time being this has just been left up. It's the same reason why this hasn't actually been finished because the concrete needs to be above I think it's something like seven degrees or something to be able to correctly set. The last thing you want is to get frost in there so that's why this has been put on hold but as you can see it's in. It's going to be a lot softer against the house and we're still going to have the light allowance because of the glass. Also we have to remember that this wild turf will also grow up probably to around about there as well. So it's gonna just have such a nice feel about it. The shed, unfortunately, is still not in. We've had a little bit of a hold up on the shed because we've been waiting to finalize some of the finer but very important details. So that is currently not going to be done before Christmas, but that's just the way it is. We will live. Lydia's poor greenhouse is currently unaccessible because it's just full of so much stuff but there's not much you can do out here anyway let's be honest when the weather's like this which by the way I'm thoroughly enjoying it's not nice to work in it don't get me wrong I don't envy anybody that's working outside but to actually be able to uh, come out and enjoy it and see it is a real treat the staircase that you can see the spiral staircase that eventually may be changed but for the time being we're just going to leave it because it works in terms of it's a staircase that doesn't intrude too much when you're actually down in the basement it's really well contained and if we were to put a staircase in we would probably want to put like a an oak staircase in which would take up a lot more space in that area it's not quite a straightforward install so we spoke to the team that are actually working on these and we said to them look if we want to add a staircase in at a later date can this design be implemented into this setup that we have going on here they said absolutely so this has all been done with the knowledge that we may change this at some stage here you can see these are the bases for each of the posts so you can see they've been rotted down into the ground so that gives you an idea of what's going on then we've got the glass sitting at the back so yeah it's all go it's a beautiful day today Hopefully the kitchen will be going in early next year, ahead of the summer, which will again be a lovely treat. We'll get that pizza oven going as well. But yeah, very happy with how everything's going so far at the house. These have turned out really nicely as well. We were a little bit unsure at first because we weren't sure how long they were going to hold on to their leaves, but they're doing incredibly well. I think it just adds a really nice sort of like autumnal feel to the space. Well, that's a little garden update whilst we're doing lots of house stuff for you. Well, it's time to wrap up today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Next week is my last video of the year. So that will be me done for Christmas. I hope everybody's getting on top of all of their Christmas shopping and getting everything ready for the festive season. And also hopefully getting out and enjoying some time with family and friends. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday, 5 p.m. for the last video of the year. Thank you.